Hi, and welcome to another lesson in our series on Get and Get Out for Beginners. In this particular lesson, we're going to learn how to create a GitHub account. I've explained the essence of GitHub, and in this particular video, we are just going straight to creating a GitHub account. To create a GitHub account, you need to have in mind what your username is going to be and also an email address that you're going to use to sign up. So come to github.com and click on sign up here to get started and as i mentioned you need an email and you're going to set a password you create a username your username has to be unique because it is going to become the url for which you are going to be able to access your github account or any other person would be able to access your github repositories and the likes so let's start with an email i'm going to use this particular email to start with at gmail.com then continue password so for the purposes of this video let me just use test one two three four okay they are telling me it's two uh, so let's set one which is quite high say o at two two b capital b I'm, I'm likely to even forget this <laughs> so let me just use this strong password here then i'll copy it by the time I, I when i finish this i'm going to delete the account so this account is just for training purposes and i wouldn't need it for anything so let me just go ahead but make sure whatever password you are setting it's something that you can remember okay this i can't remember it or maybe i'll keep it somewhere but afterwards i am going to delete this so call this coaching sorry coaching oh yeah say something like that and this is available so it tells you whether it's available or not so now i can continue with this would you like to receive product updates and announcements via email no for me so it says type n for no no then please solve this puzzle to verify that you are human the puzzle click start puzzle to continue start puzzle uh, pick one square that shows two identical objects two identical objects all right so let's see any two that are identical i think nope this and no how no so i don't think i'm finding any that is identical no 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 i don't think i'm seeing any identical let's refresh start puzzle pick two so that shows two identical objects two identical objects oh so okay okay so i thought it was to match them but two identical so these are identical right yeah oh please pick one square that shows two identical objects so the square itself she shows two identical objects i think this matches so earlier on i didn't understand the instruction i thought it was any two separate squares are identical okay you're almost done we sent a launch code to this email so a code has been sent to the email and i need to grab that code let's see check your inbox for the code if it is not in the inbox check your spam so this is the code that i have received copy this code and send it to get up paste it and voila so now i've created the account this is how many team members will you be working with it's just me i'm a student continue all right what specific features are you using are you interested in so i mean i could list as many as possible right but then depending on what you list okay so let's just continue so we're going to go with a free because for the purposes of this series and almost everything that you are going to be doing you can equally do it on the free version unlimited public and private repositories 2000 cid cd minutes 500 megabyte of package storage yeah i mean we could do it with a free so continue for free Ooh, we're getting in initializing your dashboard great so that is essentially how to create a github account 
once this account is created what it means is that now we have a remote place that we can host our code so every code that we are going to write instead of keeping the code just on our computer we can store the code on this particular platform the wonderful thing is that it is git enabled so if we are using git on our computer to version the code that we are working with then we can push that versioned code to this particular account that we have created to keep track of them let me show you my personal account so go back to this site and open github just to show you what it means to have a github account so if i go to github this is originally my account that i used to code but let me go back and show you something here so you remember the username that i created yeah it was coaching a honia this means that anyone who wants my account may have to search for me using coaching a honia on github okay, so this is my personal github okay let me go to what you call repositories and i've already explained what repositories are they are essentially the folder with an underlining version control system okay so that is it these are all codes that i have created or versions of i mean uh, softwares that i'm building that are here or for me I, I happen to be a student in the als program so a lot of these are uh, directories or repositories that we created in the program to solve problems okay but then you can see from the url here that is ehoneaobed.com slash ehonea wait sorry did i say ehoneaobed <laughs> so it is github.com slash ehoneaobed that is the url and ehoneaobed is my username so anyone searching for me would have to use that name but now let's search for coaching ehonea which was the new account or which is the new account that we have created so when you search for it let's look for users so you see we haven't created any repository that bears our name but then there is one user so click on users and you find this is coaching Ewonia, and that is the one that we just created so you see we haven't done anything much it's only in may that we have shown up may you see that it's a sunday may 14th which is today as i am recording this particular video it tells you that this person joined four minutes ago so this is how people will be able to find you on github and that's why it's important to use a unique name when you are creating your uh, username all right i hope you are enjoying the video and you have learned something from this we are going to go deeper into creating how to create a repository how to version control the code it's a practical use of these things that we've been learning so far i hope you like this video give the video a thumbs up if you like and if you are yet to subscribe to the channel do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next video bye bye